Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking your time out of your day to educate yourself on this very important topic from Wall Street to Main Street. How to create a tax free real estate income with real estate investing. How to create a tax free retirement income with real estate investing. <laughs> Pardon me. My name is Si Wing Yi, and I'm the owner and founder of Yi Real Estate Network, and we specialize in helping investors from all over the world, the U.S., and in California, and most of my buyers are from California, so I'm targeting、uh, my specific group because I live here for a very long time. But anyway, we, like I said, we specialize in out-of-state Turnkey remote passive real estate investing, and whereby what I mean by turnkey is we have in-house property management, great real estate realtor partners in those specific locations, and just an overall great team to help you create a passive income through real estate investing. All right, so without further ado, let me、uh, just address this quick disclaimer. All information and materials are for educational purposes only. All parties are encouraged to consult with their attorneys, accountants, financial advisors before entering into any type of investment. All right, so let's talk about how to use your individual retirement account and 401ks to purchase investment real estate. Before we do that, let's go over what's going on in the consumer world. Baby boomers. It is estimated that 10,000 baby boomers per day will turn age 65 for the next 20 years. Up to 75% of the baby boomer population do not have the resources to retire at age 65 or over. Most will be forced to continue to work after 65 years of age. Retirees face skyrocketing healthcare costs and diminished Social Security and Medicare benefits. Inflation, cost of living increases will threaten to erode their fixed retirement income. Over 4.7 trillion in combined IRAs and 401k funds. Or invested in the stock market, but only two percent are invested via self-directed retirement accounts, and that is what we're going to talk about on this webinar. So, why is a self-directed IRA is not that popular at this particular point in time? Well, is it, it is getting to be very popular, yeah. Moving forward, is the words getting out there? But the reason why still because Wall Street doesn't want you to know about it. They want to keep you quote end quote in the dark. Otherwise, they may see a mass exodus of their mutual funds IRA money into a alternative investment such as a self directed or a IRA for real estate. Investing, it'll impact their bottom line. All those major brokerage companies, you know who I'm talking about. This guy named Charles, <laughs> and other major companies, Fidelity, Dreyfus Funds, whatever, right? Stock market crap. Okay. Further, your attorney or accountant may not know about it. Your so-called financial planner. By the way, years ago I was one, so I've been in the other side of the fence. Now I'm strictly into real estate investing. So your financial advisor, planner, was not trained on it, and your current custodian—they are holding your retirement accounts in your pension account, whatever, 401k. They do not offer truly. Self-directed retirement accounts. Most investors 
is age invest in mutual funds inside the IRA, right? Stock market. Why? Because they don't know any better. On historical basis, typical rate of return for these investments is around two to five percent. If you're lucky. So why not use your IRA to do alternative investments such as rental properties? Well, these are the numbers that I've been seeing that I don't know about you, but this is the pretty much going on right now in 2016. Using your money to buy rental properties in a good market, and I will do my best to give you some of my recommendations, you can potentially achieve a capitalization rate of seven to ten percent. Okay. So this is your this is your yield. Obviously much higher than the stock market and the mutual funds that you've been we all been accustomed to uh to uh to invest in. Cash on cash returns eight to twenty percent. Total ROI twenty to twenty percent total return on your investment. By the way, if you're not familiar with these formulas, feel free to contact me and I will provide you with a video, a 20 minute video that will specifically going to educate you and go over how to calculate these three very important formula, cap rates, cash and cash returns and total ROIs. And then you will be very, very fully informed investor. And this is all we do. Here at the Year Listen Network, we provide education, perspective, the real world investing. And so you can, once you do your research and due diligence, you will make an informed decision as an investor to confidently purchase this type of rental properties, whether using your South Direct IRA or using regular cash or financing uh, through your own personal credit. Okay, so a typical single family residence could be a duplex, could be, you know, triplex or even multi-unit. You can do IRA with that. But for most people, for most, so the so-called mom and pop investors, which many of you are, uh, single family home residential investing would be, would be the core uh, strategies that you're going to use. And they typically, you know, cost around $130,000 to $170,000. You know, three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage, around 1,500 square foot, built around, you know, in the past 20 years. In a good neighborhood, fast moving market, such as in Orlando, in Central Florida, that would be my highest recommendation. All right. So, again, at the bottom of this slideshow, we and some of you are asking, where, where can I buy something like this? No, all I can say is definitely not in California. All right. So if you want to hear more about it, you can listen to my other videos. You can become a member of my recent network, sign up for the newsletter, and you will receive weekly newsletters and videos about where to buy, how to buy through our network, through our organization. All right, let's move on. How do you establish a self direct IRA? First, roll over your traditional IRA into a self-directed IRA and use a custodian who specializes in real estate investing. And by the way, there are not that many out there. Of course, if you contact me, I'll be more than happy to refer you a few other organizations that does that do this. You know. And second, or you can also roll over, over from your previous employer 401k, 403b if you're a nonprofit, and other um, pensions. Three, the only retirement plans you are not allowed to roll over into a self direct IRA or your current employer 401 401k plans unless you quit your job or you retire at age 59, all right? This is a very important distinction, okay? Let me repeat. If you're currently working for employer, you're, you're not allowed to roll over that 401k. 
to an IRA or to a self-directed IRA to buy real estate unless until you quit or retire. All right, four, once the money arrives into your self-directed IRA custodial account, you can then, then use the name of your IRA to buy rental properties. Once you, after you purchase your rental property in the name of your IRA and, and you get your property rented through a property management company that we're gonna, we, that we have in place. And once you trigger, start the ownership aspect of this particular asset, and when you receive your cash flow income monthly or annually, the beauty of this using an IRA to, IRA to purchase is all rental income and potential equity appreciation associated with your property are rolled back into your IRA, tax deferred. So furthermore, all your rental expenses, such as your non-recourse loan mortgage, we'll, which we will discuss shortly, your taxes, insurance, and private property management fees, and maintenance, potential upkeep, potential repairs, are paid by your IRA. Do not engage in prohibited transactions. Consult your tax advisor. Consult your financial advisor, consult your realistic advisor to ensure that over time the rental property you purchase inside your IRA continue to to uh, to uh, continue to be uh, to, to be managed in a legal way and, uh, and don't subject your IRA to uh, any kind of illegal things such as prohibited transactions, all right? But so, seven, if you happen to sell your property inside your IRA, the profits, if any, are tax-free as long as you roll the capital gains into your IRA. Eight, when you reach age 59 and a half or older per the IRS rules and regulation associated with retirement plans or retirement plans that has a has a tax deferral built up. After you reach age 59 and a half or older, you may cash out your rental income from that property taxable at your marginal federal tax bracket at the time of your retirement, presumably at a lower tax bracket, but not always, right? <laughs> Some people who are on paper retire age 50 and a half or older and they still make a lot of money uh, for many different sources and they still have a high tax bracket income, so which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. So if you, conversely, if you withdraw your rental income before age 50 and a half, you, will, you may be assessed a 10% early withdrawal penalty along with the regular taxation at your ordinary tax bracket, which could be 25% or more depending on your income. Ouch. So do your best when you buy your rental properties using your IRA, your self-directed IRA, do not withdraw your rental income prematurely before age 3 and a half because of the withdrawal penalty. So it's a long-term investment, okay? So sit tight and watch your money grow, especially if you buy the property in a great area such as Central Florida or in Texas uh, as well, which we are promoting Austin, Texas and San Antonio, Texas. And of course, Central Florida currently is our, our partners that are promoting inventory of homes in these areas. Anyway, nine, you can buy rental properties with the full amount of your IRA which is all cash, or you can leverage your self directed IRA with a non-recourse loan. I want you to digest this a little bit. 
because this is a very important strategy, which a lot of people out there are simply not aware of. By attending this webinar, by the way, you are getting so much education, which 99% of the uh, investors out there in the U.S. are not uh, not purview to know. All right. So I've done myself in my organization for the past few years. We have done many self data RA purchases with a non-recourse loan additionally to help our investors leverage their wealth <coughs> long term. All right. Number 11. There are only a handful of non-recourse lenders in the country who do non-recourse lending to allow you to purchase more properties with your self-directed IRA. Assuming your, you desire to buy a property at a certain specific location, right? And you want to leverage your IRA to buy more property than what the actual balance of your IRA has. And then you pick a property, let's for example, Orlando, you pick a $150,000 property, three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1500 square foot, what have you. And then you will put your IRA, which is, you know, potentially half, 50% down payment. And then you will get a non-recourse loan to leverage your IRA. So the underwriter, the underwriter bank that are doing non-recourse lending, they will conduct their underwriting guidelines. They will identify what are the property you have decided to purchase, whether it has been a good market, what are, what are the history, the location of the area, and the history of the cash flow of that particular house or rental market conditions in that particular neighborhood. So if they approve this particular property and, uh, and risk is tolerable for the non-recourse lending guidelines, they will approve the loan. And of course, different non-recourse lenders have different criteria, but most of them, they will depend on what market, you know, of the country, what real estate locations. They will typically around allow 40 to 50 percent loan to value (LTV), if you will. This means, and furthermore, most non-recourse lenders, their minimal loan amount. Per property is around fifty thousand dollars. Now think about this, and and again, if you buy a property and they approve the the lending guidelines, they typically will allow forty to fifty percent of the down payment coming from my IRA. Okay, so if they allow forty to fifty percent from the IRA and their minimum loan. Amount is fifty thousand, so that means the lowest purchase price your IRA qualifies with a non-recourse loan is around hundred thousand, maybe one hundred ten thousand. Okay, so if you want to buy a property less than hundred thousand, even with a non-recourse loan, subject to this criteria, you would not be able to do it. So the non-recourse lender also requires a minimum of ten to fifteen percent of additional IRA to factor in potential vacancies, upkeep, and maintenance. Okay? So why is it, why it is called a non-recourse loan? In case you default on a property, an underlying loan, the lender can only come after any remaining equity from your IRA account on the underlying property. They cannot come after your personal assets should you default on the property. Also, your credit rating, your FICO score are not affected since you did not purchase this property using your name, but you purchased property using the name of the IRA only. So for those folks, for those folks out there, the risk is very minimal. I mean, the worst case scenario, you know, you, know, you have built in asset protection in place. Your, uh, you know, your credit is not going to be affected. Your personal assets are not in jeopardy, and all that stuff. So there are so many benefits using your self-directed IRA to purchase rental properties. 
other than the tax deferral, tax free nature, and the of the cash flow and potential equity appreciation. Some of the loans, I mean, the loan terms uh, changes all the time depending on lender. I have several lenders in the country which I've been using, but they're all a little bit different, and this rate could be could change at any given time based on the market conditions, the lending guidelines, and what have you. But the typical current non-recourse loan rates in terms of are as follows. 20-year fixed rate loan at 6.25%, 5 arm at 4.25% for the first three years, and then adjusted annually, 25-year term, 5 arm 4.875% for the first three years, then adjusted annually, 25-year term, and then finally, 10 arm 5.5% for the first 10 years and then adjust your annually for 25 year term on your non recourse loans. So not so bad, not as good as the regular investment loans out there for, for buyers using their own credit and what have you. But, uh, so, you know, it's all about risk. Uh, and, and the, but you, you, if you buy in a good area, you're probably still going to cash flow under, given under these conditions. So these loan rates are pretty, pretty attractive under the circumstances, all right? So I wouldn't, you know, worry about it, okay? So you can still cash flow quite nicely using a tremendous amount, using leverage with a non-recourse loan. That's a tremendous value. So getting back to the above example of $150,000 single family home rental property. So my question to you is, do you want to pay all of your $150,000 with your IRA money or just put 75000 of your self directed IRA, IRA money and get a $75,000 non-recourse loan? I think the answer is pretty obvious. You should use leverage. You, you, you should use incorporate the non-recourse lending loan to purchase with your self directed IRA, you can buy more properties, you can get higher return by using leverage. Okay, so I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Very simple uh, terminology and strategy. So let's recap. One, drastically increase your retirement income with income producing investment properties using your self directed IRA. Get educated and free yourself from Wall Street conditioning and brainwashing. Make a difference in your life and help others you care about. Create your financial legacy. This is Si Wing Yi. Thank you so much for listening and hope to hear from you. My phone number is 510-552-0726. You can Call me typically weekdays from 10.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And I'll be more than, help you, more than happy to help you, consult with you, guide you along using telephone consulting and video, Skype, conferencing, whatever means necessary using available communication technologies out there. And, of course, my email is cwingyi at cwingyiseminars.com, and my website is cwingyi seminars.com. Thank you very much for attending. Hope you've been educated tremendously on this very high value strategy using the self direct IRA. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Goodbye.